Hey everyone, I just wanted to get a little real with you. Um, I often get, oh my gosh, I wanna look like you. Um, I want your muscles and all this crazy stuff. I wanna be lean like you, but Daddy. what are you doing? <laughs> so anyways, I just wanna let you know what it takes to look like me or to look like those bikini girls or you know um just be in that kind of shape it doesn't look pretty it looks like this it's not makeup it's sweat like nasty sweat um it's lifting five days a week it's doing cardio damn near every day it's tracking every single macro it's bringing chicken in your purse when you go out to eat it's planning, prepping food, it's missing sleep so that you can prepare meals, it's still living an everyday life, being a full-time mom, or, you know, working two jobs like I work, or living, doing everyday life stuff like paying bills and running errands and doing doctor's appointments, and still waking your ass up early in the morning to do your cardio run, as you can see. The only way I get my cardio in in the morning is pray to God that the weather is good so that I can do a stroller run with my daughter uh, because the gym only has a two hour limit and I like to lift and do the sauna and stuff like that. So it's really hard for me to get in all my stuff. So if you're willing to do really what it takes and understand that it's tracking all your food, it's working out five days a week or some people do six days a week of lifting, it's doing your high intensity cardio, it's doing your low intensity cardio, it's doing stress prevention stuff like yoga or meditation or just trying to relax because you know what if you're stressed out that makes your progress even and worse which is hard as heck because people live their life and have stressful lives and do a lot of stuff and you know what doing all this while still having energy and being a mom and you know come here Ariana well my daughter's running away but anyways that's what I want to tell you is that being in my kind of shape or being lean and doing fitness competitions and stuff, it takes a lot of work and it doesn't look pretty because right now I don't feel pretty and I look pretty. But you know what? It's worth it because you set a goal and you stick to it. And once you're done with your competition, if you're not freaking messed up in the head like half the people are, then you can slowly reverse diet and have like a better foundation. So like it's a lot easier to stay in good shape and have that muscle mass that you put on. Um, but 90% of the time people get fat and overeat because you know what, their prep is way too extreme or whatnot. So anyways, I'm not trying to dis, like make you not excited to do prep, but I want you to know what really what it takes to do all this stuff and to look the way that I do. And it's a lot of sacrifice. And um, even this prep myself, it's been challenging because now being a new mom and wife, I've struggled with figuring out if, the reason why I compete is worth it. Like, is my why more important than my why not? You know, like when you start to have a family, you start to feel bad if you really have those days that you are grumpy and um, maybe don't have the energy that you would if you were eating more. Um, you start to feel bad for going and doing workouts when you really want to spend time with your family. But, um, when all said and done, I really love what I do, and I'm very fortunate to love lifting and working out and eating healthy. And another thing, I want to let you know that am I, have I ever cheated? Yes. Have I um, maybe not pushed as hard on a cardio workout? Yes. And most of the women during prep, probably men too, shoot, I don't know, but I work with a lot of women. If they say they've never cheated or not done everything perfect, they're freaking lying. So you can do it and be human, but uh, I'm gonna stop rambling. I just wanna let you know what's up. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. And if you have any questions about wanting to compete, um, shoot and all that said and done, it's expensive as hell and you don't get much out of it. So as far as like monetary reward type of stuff. So like if you're thinking about competing, really consider all that it takes all the expenses because most people spend easily two, three, four thousand dollars going through prep, and that's if they have a coach. Not, I mean, coach, suit, heels, tan, entry fees, 
maybe gym fees, maybe different types of food, supplement, holy mother of Jesus, supplements are expensive. So anyways, sorry about my phone. It's kind of like blurry because my screen's cracked. That's another thing, you know, money. So I like don't go and get things maybe that I should, like a new cell phone so that I can like save money in other areas of my life. But I'm going to Cancun soon, so that's gonna be awesome. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. And again, if you have any questions, concerns, or anything, just hit me up, man. I'm going to be real with you. I try to keep it real as much as possible. And um, I will tell you, competing has given me a lot in my life. Um, I love it. It's put me through difficult times. And I feel like through difficult times, it helps build your character. Um, and I've also realized the people that are around me um, that maybe not aren't into bodybuilding stuff that are supportive are real awesome people and true friends. So um, it's not only helped build a good surrounding for me, but it's helped me um, define myself in little parts of my life. I mean, bodybuilding doesn't define all of me, but through challenge, it's helped. Um, kind of build my character. So anyways, again, I'm going to stop rambling. Hope you guys have a great day. Hit me up. Peace. Say bye. Woo. Say bye.